Mon Holcomb. I just want to take a quick moment to explain what I think the mistake that RTC made here and how they could improve it in the future. The Virginia and Truckee Railroad used to go down Holcomb. As a result, streets like this one here, Sinclair, have like a Y intersection with Holcomb. A lot of people have been using Sinclair to get around traffic on Virginia and Center. They're trying to get to the freeway. As a result, there's been a lot of collisions here because people coming northbound on Holcomb are making a left-hand turn. What RTC's solution for this was to make this mini cul-de-sac here they made a curb. Because this was designed for bicycles to use this intersection right here, we have an unneeded conflict point. Guess what they're gonna do? They're gonna go onto the sidewalk here and then move back into the bike lane. And I know what the traffic engineers are gonna say. They shouldn't be doing that. That's not how we designed it. You have to design things the way that human beings are going to use them. This is designed for cars, not humans. Raise all of this up to sidewalk level. Put bollards so that way bicycle traffic can continue going this way but car traffic has to interact with this intersection here filtered permeability filtered permeability means you're filtering out certain modes but allowing others this could have been like some kind of like a little plaza area or something i tried to tell them at the meeting they would not listen i brought my plans with me i brought poster sized plans to show them my ideas, they said, no, we can't allow you to show those off because it conflicts with our plans. I think that's the idea. I'm trying to provide an alternative idea at a meeting. Isn't that what they're for? Now here's the kicker. Now that the active transportation plan is being formed, RTC is suggesting that Sinclair be used as a bike route. So this would have been even more perfect to have filter permeability, but they decided not to. Okay, rant over.